Alright, how's it going y'all? Today we're going to be going over a new cool feature in Synology DSM-7 and it's with their new push to try to be a password manager, not just a NAS. And that is actually use a secure sign-on, basically a device authentication for signing into your Synology NAS. Right now, what this allows you to do is instead of typing in your password and two-factor authentication, really this is targeted at people who use two-factor authentication, is it allows you to just sign on using your phone with a push notification. Very similar to how Gmail does it in that sense. And so it's actually really easy to go ahead and set up. On your phone, just go ahead and download the Synology Secure Sign-In app. And all we have to do is go ahead and, and sign into our DSM instance. And so the way that we're going to do that is just go ahead and hit add and we're going to approve sign-in manually. And so for this, you're just gonna type in any of the things here that you would normally use to log into your NAS. I'm gonna use the local domain name and just say continue and now sign in. All right, and so now you can see right here, we're connected in. And so now let's go ahead and try it out. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just sign out real quick. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and sign back in. And so now you can see, we've actually got a couple of options here. We can actually just go ahead and hit approve on here and use face ID and boom, now we're authenticated in. And this means that we have two factor authentication because it took our phone, we have our phone, and we also had face ID or touch ID or whatever your authentication method is into your phone. And that is the two-factor authentication. It's much faster and much more efficient than trying to use two-factor authentication where you've got to have the password and also have the key because it's all just an app sign-in. And it is a lot easier to use and I actually really like it. So obviously this is really not necessary if you only use one-factor authentication if you're just typing in your password. But for people who have two-factor authentication, this is a great setup. And so really that's all there is to it. This is also part of Synology's push to now offering some security keys, so hardware security keys. And so Synology NASs have gotten a lot more ability to be integrated into full-on enterprise environments, and I'm really glad they're going this direction. All right, well, I know that was quick, but that's it for this tutorial. Go and leave any other tutorials like you'd be making the comments below. And if you'd like to hire me for a project, there's a link for that in the description below. All right, have a good one. Bye.